First, fair, everywhere. 19 News starts now. Looking at this hour, multiple reports of a car on the tarmac at Cleveland Hopkins Airport. After busting through a gate, we're still trying to confirm this incident altogether. But what we do know is there has been a ground stoppage at the airport. We're going to turn right now to 19 data journalist Jeff Slauson uh, about those diversions and mostly uh, planes, I guess, not being allowed to take off. Some are landing, some are taking off, but it's at minimal. Yeah, we've put in multiple calls to the airport now. This is over an hour of a delay here. You would expect to hear something. We have not heard anything up to this point, which for anybody that has somebody that is flying into Cleveland right now, that can be pretty scary. I know this is difficult to see here, but what you're seeing are these flights that are surrounding Cleveland Hopkins Airport, which is right there. Essentially what they've been doing, that's just the map auto updating there. Essentially what these planes have been doing is circling around the airport or even heading closer to Canada or heading south of Cleveland, waiting to see if there's going to be an opening for them to land. How many flights have we seen? How many flights have been delayed as a result of this? Well, look for yourself here. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more so you can try and see it a little bit better. There you go. Okay, so starting at flights that were supposed to land at 855, we are currently at 1001. So this is quite a bit of a delay here. That's arrival, diversion, delayed recovery, meaning they're looking for a way or a place to land. Diversion, Diversion. You're seeing about half a dozen to a dozen flights that have had to be diverted. Ones that are either New York, could be Atlanta, Georgia, could be Dallas, Fort Worth. These flights are ones that we, we have been seen get diverted to not airports in Ohio, but airports all over essentially. Milwaukee, Pittsburgh, Detroit. Areas like this are where we are seeing a lot of these airlines and a lot of these flights delayed to. We also put a call into Frontier. They're trying to get back to us on some of the information because one of these flights that was diverted to Detroit is a Frontier flight. But many people who are trying to land in Cleveland over the past hour are now landing in different cities. Again, we have multiple calls into Cleveland Hopkins Airport. We were hoping and expecting to hear back as of right now. As soon as we do, we'll let you know. Jeff Slauson, 19 News. And this on the busiest travel travel day of the travel season. Michelle Nix now standing live at the airport working to get new information. Michelle, you just got on scene. What do you know? Well, good evening, Chris. We have been all around the airport trying to find out more information. There is a police car in the distance, but we cannot tell if it's exactly on the tarmac or not. But in the last minute or two, several planes have now landed and one took off. So it seems that they are back in business um, for this Thanksgiving holiday, the night before Thanksgiving. Um, trying to get people where they need to go. But as Jeff said, I mean, what a nightmare to have a flight delayed or, you know, g land somewhere else. There are tons of cars down here, tons of people waiting to pick up their loved ones um, for the holiday. And hopefully most of those people will still be able to make it in, but they may not be making it in very quickly here. Again, we've seen um, two flights land and one take off, and that was in the last minute or two here at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. So it appears they're back in business. We are working to find out more about this car that reportedly was on the tarmac. If anybody was hurt, what exactly happened? We've put in a call to Cleveland police, also several calls to the airport. As soon as we know more, we will let you know. Reporting live from Cleveland Hopkins International Airport, Michelle Nix. 19 news. All right, Michelle, thanks a lot. And we are just getting new information. Uh, Cleveland Hopkins Airport tweeting the incident right now. I'm just going to read it to you as I'm just seeing it right now. Approximately around 9 p.m., a person drove through an airfield gate at Hopkins and to maintain the highest level of safety and security. Operations were temporarily on hold. Uh, Cleveland Division of Police, they have arrested that suspect. Now CLE is in the process of resuming normal airport operations as this investigation is ongoing. So it seems as if the security personnel along with Cleveland PD, uh, they have resolved this situation at NAS Michelle and Jeff just alluded to just moments ago, flights are slowly starting to land and take off at Cleveland Hopkins. Of course, we'll stay on top of this story if we get any more information, any new information, we'll pass it along to you.